Hi, this is Miss Cox, and I'm going to show you how to do the fish tank project. So the first thing we need to do is create a custom function that draws a fish at a given x and y with a given length, height, and color. So there's going to be five parameters in this fish function. So got a lot to do. Let's start by drawing the fish or er, creating the fish function. So up here, we've got several different variables, one for body length, height, color, x, and y. So we already have the variables created. Now we just need to create the function. So first off, we're going to say, well, let's create this variable function called drawfish. And then we'll make that equal to a function. So we're basically saying we want to make this function where the fish is drawn. And in the parentheses, let's say we need to have these different parameters. So we're going to add in the parameter basically of inside, a little confusing, inside, well, here, let's just start with this. So let's say we create this function, and we're going to, inside the function, do all this different drawing of the fish. Okay, now, what just happened? You guys know? I need to call the function. So right now what I did was I created the function, but I didn't tell it to actually do it. So right now I've created this function that will draw fish, but to actually have it do the function, I need to do that underneath. So I go and type in draw fish, parentheses, semicolon. Oh, and my fish is back. Because basically, I've just drawn the fish. Now, this is kind of boring right now. It's not doing a whole lot. To make it more interesting, we're going to add in parameters. So here, it says we need to have the parameters for x, y, height, length, and color. So in here, instead of just having it be empty, we're going to change it so when you, when you call the function, you're going to have to put down the center x, the center y, the body length, oop, body, oop. remember, make sure you're looking at your capitals, comma, body, sorry, it's hard to write sideways like this, body height, comma, body color. So now what I've done is I've said, hey, when you call this function, you have to just, you have to tell it. What is the x going to be? What's the y going to be? What's the length, the height, and body color going to be? So down here, the reason the fish disappeared is I didn't tell it what to do here. So let's say I want the x to be 100, the y to be 100. What's the next thing? I need length. What do you think the length should be? Pick a number. 30. 30, sure. And then the height, we'll say, is what? 20. 20, all right. Oh, now we have a little fish. Perfect. Now that we have our little fish, we need to give it some color. So here, uh, the next thing we need to do is set the color. And you'll see body color, we have to put in color and then the color numbers. So what we're going to do is down here, for the next section, for our next parameter, we're going to put color, parentheses, and then we need to set what's the color going to be. Let's say it's red. That's fine. Now, the problem here is we need a closing parenthesis. So we have this starting parenthesis, then we have new parentheses, we need another parenthesis to match the first one. Now our fish is red. Now, the only thing that's, you know, a little boring about this is, well, when you do this again, if you just copy and paste it, let's say we do it a couple times, and we adjust the numbers, well, we're going to see that the fish is always going to be red, which is a little boring. So what I might want to do is change one of these to a different color. Maybe I want my next fish to be green or yellow. I don't know, yellow is cool. So I got a little yellow fish. Maybe this fish I want to be pink, whatever it is. Now, this isn't very interesting yet because the fish are all the same size. So we can also change the size of the fish by changing these numbers. So we can make this one fatter. There we go. Now we got cute little fish. Look at him. He's so cute. Maybe this one's really long and I'll move him down so we can see him. 
So all we're doing here is we're creating some different fish. Now we need to go back to the top and make sure we're doing everything it told us to do. So we did the first step. We basically um, we created the fish multiple times using all those different parameters and we created the function. Oh, did we create the function? Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. It's a little confusing when when you create a function and everything's not indented. So one thing I like to do is kind of indent everything in the function. That way it's easy to see what is in the function. Because otherwise it gets really confusing. So now, okay, now I can easily see what's in that function, where the function is. All right, the next thing, what else do we need to do? Call the function to draw the fish. We did that. Now call the function lots more times with different values. So your screen is filled with fish. Okay, so we just would need to do this more. Okay, then add more parameters like tail width, eye size, tail color. So basically now you can start instead of having, um, well, actually we already have tail width and tail height. We would add those in up here to the parameters so you could then start customizing those things. Um, anyway, I think that's, you know, there's plenty to do here. Um, you can really go crazy with this and have fun with it. You could have all, you know, different colors of pink fish. You could have black fish, whatever color you want. Although black fish, you wouldn't see the eye. Unless you change the eye color, which would be another interesting thing to adjust. So, um, anyway, any questions? That Was that helpful? No, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Good luck, guys.